Hello and welcome to Coders Column. My name is Sunny Solanki, and in today's video, I'll be explaining how to create Gantt charts using Python Data Visualization Library Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample Gantt chart to show how generally Gantt charts look. So, Gantt charts are generally used in various projects to show project deadlines and timelines. So timelines of various uh, stages of the project can be uh, displayed using road um, gain chart. And each uh, phase of the project is represented with one horizontal bar. So, okay, so that was a small introduction. Let's get started with the coding part. So first of all, I imported library matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system so this is the latest and stable version now in order to create a gain chart we need some data so i over here i have created a sample data set for our purpose so the data set i have loaded as a pandas data frame so it has a columns named task start and days and colors so task is what is the project task start is the start date and end is the end dates and days is the number of days it took to complete the task and color is uh, color that we will use to represent that task in our gain chart so first of all i have converted various uh, dates which are string to date time and then i have calculated days by subtracting start from end and i have used i have used the color map set one which is available from my matplotlib to select various colors so okay so let's uh, create uh, gain chart from this data set so in order to create a gain chart first of all i will be importing pyplot api of matplotlib first of all i will create a figure object so let's create dot figure i will use figure size of 12 by 8 Next, I will create a horizontal bar. So in, for that, I will use bar edge method. For y axis, we will use the df of task. For left, we will use the df of start. And for width of the bar, we will use df of days and for color we will say df of color so i think this should create our initial uh, gain chart so let me execute this cell and as you can see it has created our initial gain chart so let's go ahead and add x limit, y limit, x takes, y takes, etc. So first of all, I will say x limit will be. So for x axis, we have date time. So I will be setting. I will I will need to import date time first. From date time, import date. Okay, so x limit will be date of. Uh, let me see in our data frame. So first one is 20, 23, 1, 15. So I will go from 2023, 1, 1, from 1st January to 2023. The ending is 7, 25. So let's say 7, 30. For y limit. I will go from minus 0 0.5 to 7.5. Let's set x ticks. Now, in order to set x ticks, I will create a date range object. So, panda has a function name td dot date range, where I can say start is equal to 2023 1 1 and is equal to 2023 8 30 and frequency will be month start 
so this will be the date range over here i will give date range as tick and for labels i will create a comprehensive list saying for date in date range for date dot month name function so we have month name over there so that is x ticks plt dot y takes y ticks we already have a properly so i will say font size to 15 let's give font size of 15 to x ticks as well okay so we have x limit y limit set x ticks and y ticks set let's set x label and y label x label is date y label is task let's say font size 220 font weight will be bold let's use the same one for y label as well let's set title project roadmap let's say location is equal to left padding of uh, 20 pixels font size around 30 font weight bold okay so let me execute this one and as you can see now the chart looks uh, quite better so as you can see i can apply various themes to our chart so let's say plt dot style dot use if i want to use the theme name ggplot2 then i can do that as well so as you can see now our chart has a ggplot2 theme and generally people use uh, or adds one vertical line showing where we are currently so let's add that one as well so over here i will say plt dot v lines so x axis value will be date of so current today's date will be 2023 20 and y minimum will be minus one y maximum will be let's say it goes to late color let's set to dodger blue line width to 5.0 line style to dashed okay so here we go we have a vertical line over in our chart so here we are currently on february 20 and i can also add a small annotation v dot text saying that it's current date so let's say for x axis it will be date of 2023 to 25 y it will be 7.1 or around 7 and string will be let's say today font size let's say around 20 color let's keep it uh, let's try white and see how it looks okay white is not looking good so i will say black and i will introduce font weight as well okay so as you can see we have introduced a vertical line and also added annotation saying this is the today here we are currently so okay so we have our uh, gain chart ready now as you can see the phases of uh, uh, various phases of this project roadmaps starting from bottom planning research design and so on so many times you have noticed that generally it starts from top so what we can do we can modify our existing chart and make it start from top 
so in order to do that we just need to reverse our values so task will be colon colon one minus this will simply reverse the list okay let's do that for all the four values okay so as you can see now the chart is reversed i need i will have to move this text below so let me do that let me try it around 1.1 okay so yeah now this one looks better so this is the gain chart and now the project phases are starting from top so yeah we were able to create a gain chart uh, using bar h method now let's say that many times you will have noticed that the various gain charts have curved bars so over edges of the these horizontal bars are curved so how can we do that so in order to do that instead of bar h we will use a method name h lines which let us add horizontal lines so in order to add horizontal lines y will be various values which will be a range of 8 so it has parameter name y specifying on where y values y axis values and x minimum and x maximum which will be x minimum will be df of start and that will be reverse and x maximum is where we want to add our bars or horizontal lines so it will be and instead of days and yeah that's it other than that we need to introduce one more parameter which is depth style which i will say to round let me execute this one and then we will modify the chart okay so we have our lines over there but lines are quite thin so let me add parameter name line with let me set it to around 40 50. okay so now we have uh, our bar chart or not bar chart or uh, gain chart with uh, horizontal bars where the bars edges are curved on y axis we still have uh, ticks of 0 to 7 so let me modify the ticks for y axis so i will say range of 8 df of task so is it task what is name okay the column name is task so let me check now okay so now we have our gain chart ready and on y-axis we have name of the various phases of our project so yeah so we are done with our tutorial and it was that simple to create a gain chart using python data visualization library matplotly so that's it for today's tutorial if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time